Hello everybody. This is gonna be Hi guys, welcome to week 26 and 27 of pregnancy. Um, I'm just gonna get right into it because um, this is gonna be symptoms and stuff and uh, a little maternity haul of stuff that I got online. So um, week 26, the baby was the size of a, a head of a lettuce, which averages the biggest it could be is like 15 inches and like two and a half pounds. Um, the baby this week is forming eyes that soon start to open eyelashes are are grown in as well and he's getting his immune system ready for life on, on the outside by soaking up antibodies my antibodies he's also taking breaths but um, of course they're, when he takes a breath it's like um, it's gonna be am, amniotic fluid not air um, let's see here. I'm telling you, like every time I look at these symptoms, it's the same thing as my symptoms. Trouble sleeping. The closer you get to your due date, the tougher it might be to get some rest. Swelling. I didn't get swelling. Headaches. Not. I don't think I got any headaches that week, but I do get headaches once in a while. Pregnancy brain. Francine Hicks. And maybe a higher blood pressure. So... I wrote down in my little notes that I was very tired. There's days I just wake up so tired. Um, then when I'm, I'm so tired, and then I go take a shower, and then I can't sleep. So I have very, I can't fall asleep right away. And then when I do fall asleep, I have to get up to pee like five times a night. Um, that week I had ate breakfast, and then when afterwards, when I went br when I brushed my teeth, um, some toothpaste got down there. And I just threw up on my breakfast, which is just lovely. So, yeah. I gotta be careful when I brush my teeth. Yeah, I take going to the bathroom a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I was craving popcorn that week. Yep. I wanted to go to movie theaters just to eat popcorn, but... And then I'm not going to movie theaters. I went to the dollar store and found popcorn. So it was perfectly fine. I did my glucose screening, and I got my results. I did that Saturday, I got my results like Tuesday already. That's crazy. And, um, I don't think the drink is that bad, but I got the orange drink, drunk it, and the bad part is that you have to wake up. Well, I wake up early because my, where I, where, where I go, it gets really packed with people. So, I made an appointment, which is good. Back in the day, I didn't do appointments for Quest Diagnostics, and I do, so. I make an appointment, and whatever time it says, but even though I still have to go that down and wait an hour, so. So I waited an hour, did that, and I do not have gestational diabetes, thank goodness. And they also took, you know, different screenings and asked, do I have anemic? Am I anemic? Because I'm very tired. She said, no, everything's fine. So I'm not anemic. And the week 26 is the last week of the sixth month and the last week of the second trimester. And the infant survival rate is 80 to 90% at week 26. So if you have a baby... You know, it's a high chance that it could survive. Now, week 27. Let's go here. It's the size of a rutabaga, which is same thing, about 15 inches and 2 and a half pounds. So, maybe stays up with me. You know, it's slowly gonna get bigger. Um, he's practicing inhaling and exhaling with her. Rapidly de de developing lungs. And it's official. Baby showing brain activity. And he will keep on getting more complex. So 27 marks the third trimester. So hello. Third trimester. This lovely trimester where at first you're like, yay, third trimester. The last one almost there. And then you're just going to, as the weeks come along. Well, I would say around 35 weeks, you're going to be complaining a lot. And it's the beginning of my seventh month. So I'm seven. You know, the beginning of my seventh month pregnancy, whatever. And now the baby has 90% infant survival rate. And as the weeks get, you know, the weeks go on and on, it's going to be more. So if I had the baby now, maybe we'll probably survive. But 
keep on cooking in Lear Jacob because I'm nowhere near ready for him. I'm in the process of moving and once I move and have the crib up, then I'll, I want to say then I'll be ready, but I'll tell you in a little while why I won't be ready yet. Um, yeah, I've been feeling very huge. I feel like I have to pee all the time. <laughs> and I'm not sleeping well due to heartburn again. So yeah, the baby's moving like crazy. Like you, one day he woke up like at five, five forty-five in the morning, and I could kind of sleep through his kicks, but sometimes I can't. And yeah, he was just moving around all day. And I was craving dried mangoes because I saw a girl I follow on YouTube to like a grocery haul, and she showed me, she showed us this, and I was like, oh, these are so good from Walmart. They're three eighty-eight, and I bought this yesterday, and yeah, it's not. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to take it easy because that's like sweet. Um. So yeah, and today I went to the doctor, and they gave me my Rogam shot. He's, I'm like waiting for him to give it to me here, because I checked the heartbeat and he left me like that. <laughs> he left this thing now. I'm like, okay, I guess I gotta put that up myself, because the doctor lady I'll usually put it up and check, you know. And um, so I put that up and he's like, oh no. And then he's like, I'm going to put it in your hip. I'm like, oh, it's like that. But um, no, my hip, my hip is here, honey. You're violating me. He put that on my butt cheek and it hurt. Because that's like, you know, that's like pinch it and then stab, whatever. So yeah, I got the Rogram because I have a negative blood type. And um, if the baby has a positive blood type, my system tries to kill it. I don't know, it sounds crazy like that. But what happens is like, I don't know, it's really hard to explain. It's just whatever. I needed the shot and when the baby's born, if he is a positive blood type, they'll give me the shot again. So we'll see. Um, yeah, I do, um, I'm trying to see what symptoms it says here. Back aches. Skin and nail hair changes. My nails do grow extremely fast. See how long they are and I don't do nothing to them because for what, you know. Um, <laughs> it says here, sneezing. That's peeing when you sneeze. Baby's putting a ton of pressure on your bladder to make frequent pit stops. That's true, but I don't have any sneeze. I don't have allergies and I keep having a sneeze attack, but that hasn't happened yet. Um, so yeah, the doctor's appointment went well. Um, I started off at 156 pounds. And now I'm at, what the heck, what did I weigh today? 167. Yeah. Last time I was 165, so I only gained 2 pounds in a month. So, whew, thank goodness. Everyone's like, oh, you gained all the weight at the end. And I'm like, whatever, I hope I don't. So I'm under 170, which I wanted to. Please, Lord, let me be under 170 today. Quick, I wanted to show you what I bought at Walmart dot com walmart.com i bought nursing bras and maternity shirts so anyway, this nursing bra right here is oh my god i wish i could just buckle i should have left the buckle okay it's more like a sporty kind of a bra like i just want to try it on i already i was like i didn't feel like a lot i didn't feel like very supported but it still is very comfortable so i was like this is perfect for nighttime night or the morning more like a sports bra and then you really easy to oh my god to take off and get your booby out so this this came in a two pack and a white one and a white with polka dots on it and i bought this one and i really like this one this one has a whole bunch of adjusting so when your boobs keep getting bigger and bigger what i really 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 liked about this one you know how when you buckle yourself back here the same exact um, it's not plastic like the other one and here you take it off and you can adjust it too so you have bigger breast as your milk supply comes in or you can or, or tighter and if you're perfectly fine now with Without me having any breast milk, so and this one is one that really does support, but this is the only one that came underwire, and I heard underwire isn't the best. 
while breastfeeding. I don't know if, why exactly. But, um, I got to iron that part or something because it was kind of wrinkly. But this one will be like a nice one to wear during the day if I have to go, so go out somewhere. And then this one around the house too. And this one, these two more at like nighttime. Which is perfect. Now, um, everything here was like really good prices. Like under, I want to say everything was under $10. If it was $16.98 is because it came in a two pack. But everything else that I got here was pretty cheap. Oh, so many shirts and oh my god, the best thing in the world. Like, but this other kind of cute. This is different. This one, um, you could wear it long. Where you could roll it up and button it and have quarter sleeve. It's really cute, you know, because I'm going to be still pregnant in the fall. Another one. Short sleeve. And these fit pretty good and it looks like I have, still have a little bit of room to throw on it too. It's extra large and that's the biggest it comes. Then they read the reviews and they were saying like, uh, these are really, really tiny and blah, 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 blah. Then I got some like, these are not maternity I think. This is relaxed sweatpants, dance skin. Got like extra large. These are really big but they're... Really like thin, kind of soft, have big pockets. They are pretty baggy on me. But it's great for like the belly, like you know, there's plenty of room in there for my belly to grow. And yeah, and then I got, these are perfect to wear, you know, while pregnant, while being around the house, even when I'm in the hospital if I want to throw these on. Or after I have the baby, you know, you want to be nice and relaxed. Because then I'm having the baby in like, well, I'm not trying to go out and go. And these are maternity leggings. But, you know, this goes, you know, above this. And there's perf they're perfect. They fit. I wish I would have gotten, like, a large. I don't know if I would have gotten a large if it would have. I needed to be bigger in here, not bigger here. So, no. But whatever. These are charcoal. And I got another pair in black. And for these, I got another. This is black. And I got another pair in, like, a navy color. And I have another shirt that's supposed to be coming in. And it's like pink, like a nice hot pink with white stripes, like the thin white stripes. And I got some underwear too, which I'm not doing with those. Like a total of $115 with tax and everything. So I don't think I did too bad. Oh yeah. And another thing I bought, which I love, I got this at Dollar Tree. And for the, you know, I hate drinking water, like gag and stuff like, ugh. I just, my water needs to be ice cold. Yeah, I don't like it room temperature. And I drink water better with a cup. So this is like a double whatever cup, um, double wall cup. And what happens is that the one, you know, the one inside doesn't, I don't know, for some reason it doesn't sweat and it keeps my drinks really cold. Keeps it cold all day and I'm able to drink my six to eight cups of water a day with this cup. If it wasn't for that cup, I swear, I just drink one cup, like two cups, you know, one water bottle. So I think I got everything down packed there. I'll show you the belly. It's looking the same. I want to say I thought I saw a stretch mark the other day around here. I saw something red. But I don't know. We'll see. I'm trying to hurry up because my battery's dying. Because it was perfectly full when I checked it. Oh my god, I'm a hot mess. Alright, um, so yeah, I'll be moving to my new apartment like in two weeks, I think. Yeah, in two weeks, I'll be moving in the 15th around here, so I'll do one, this last video in this apartment, um, I think the next video will be in my new apartment, and then I'll probably start doing weekly ones after I hit 30 weeks, and um, I'll try my best to do that. 
yeah, so. The reason I said that I, I don't know if I'll be ready for the baby if it came now, it's I don't have clothes for the baby, you know, it's still summertime and I don't have any money right now to spend um, stuff like that. You know, I'm trying to move in and spend money in the apartment and stuff like that. And uh, I'm going to start school at the end of this week, the end of this month. And I get financial aid and I get a certain amount back for my financial aid and that's when I'm going to buy stuff for the baby. So stay tuned for the next one, okay guys? Bye.